Good afternoon, colleagues. And before I begin, as usual, can I just remind members just to be careful about observing social distancing guidance when we're in the chamber and also throughout the building, but particularly when we're coming in and out of the chamber. Um, we're going to turn in a second to uh, First Minister's questions, but before we do, I wonder if I can ask the First Minister to induce uh, First Minister's questions with a short statement. Uh, thanks, Presiding Officer. I'll give a very brief statistical update. Uh, since yesterday, an additional 21 cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed, which takes the total number now to 18,066. A total of 965 patients uh, are currently in hospital with suspected or confirmed COVID-19, which is a decrease of 21 since yesterday. And that includes uh, a decrease in the number of confirmed cases of 14. Uh, as of last night, 24 people were in intensive care with confirmed or suspected COVID-19, which is an increase of five since the number I reported yesterday. Uh, but let me stress that increase is all in suspected cases. Uh, unfortunately, in the past 24 hours, nine deaths of patients who had been confirmed as having the virus uh, have been registered, and that takes the total number of deaths in Scotland under that measurement to 2,462. National Records of Scotland has also just published its more detailed weekly report. Uh, those figures report deaths where COVID has been confirmed by a lab test and also cases where the virus was entered on a death certificate as a suspected or contributory cause of death. The latest NRS report covers the period to Sunday the 14th of June and at that point, according to our daily figures, 2,448 uh, deaths of people who had tested positive for the virus had been registered. Uh, today's report shows, though, that by Sunday, the total number of registered deaths with either a confirmed or presumed link to the virus was 4,070. Of those, 70 were registered in the seven days up to Sunday, and that is a decrease of 19 from the week before. Indeed, this is the seventh week in a row in which the number of deaths from the virus has fallen. The total number of excess deaths, which is the number above the five-year average for the same time of year, also decreased again to 32 in the most recent week. Deaths in care homes made up 50% of all deaths uh, linked to the virus last week. However, the number of COVID-19 deaths in care homes reduced again from 42 to 35. Now, all of these figures are still higher than I would ever wish them to be. And I do know that downward trends will never console uh, those who've lost loved ones. And my thoughts and sympathies continue to be with all of them. However, as I said, the weekly number of COVID deaths has now fallen for seven weeks in a row, and they are now at less than a ninth of their peak level. Excess deaths and care home deaths also continue to fall. Uh, tomorrow, I expect to be able to confirm that we can move from phase one to phase two of our plan to emerge from lockdown, and I will set out uh, much more detail of that tomorrow. However, we will continue to proceed in a cautious and phased way, because the more we hammer down this virus now, the more normality we can ultimately get back in all aspects of our life. Uh, our test and protect system is, of course, vitally important to our plans to emerge safely from lockdown. Health Protection Scotland has just published further data on that system, and it shows that uh, since 28th of May up until last Sunday, 992 cases were reported in which the individual tested positive. Contact tracing has already been completed for 891 of those and is ongoing in others. In total, 1,239 contacts have been traced so far. Uh, and I would remind everyone watching that if you have symptoms of COVID-19, you should book a test immediately and follow the advice on self-isolation. And I'll end by asking everyone again to continue to uh, adhere to all of the elements of public health guidance and advice. It is making a difference, as these statistics demonstrate. And I thank everybody across the country for continuing to do the right thing.